Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and my channel is Maria Crocker. If you're new here then welcome and if you're a returner thank you very much. You know I do really appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed the carnation yesterday. Um, I thought it was absolutely lovely. It all went to plan didn't it? It was really nice. Just a shame about the weather wasn't it? The weather was so miserable. I did think Queen Camilla looked absolutely stunning. I thought she looked absolutely beautiful, you know, especially when she had the crown on with her hair and the dress, it looked amazing. Uh, today I've got a few items from Marks and Spencers to show you. You know, I love Marks and Spencers. So uh, this first item is what I have on now, is this beautiful blouse. Uh, it's a lovely colour, lovely soft blue. Let's just pull on and there is like a pleat down the front, a little collar, and it's a nice length. Let me just pop my slippers off, put my slippers on there. That is really lovely. I've got this in a size 20. It does have little fold up sleeves, and you can see little turnips on the sleeves here. Actually, it's not a turnip, it's still down. I thought it was a turnip, it's just like a little false turn it's like a seam on there actually but it's a lovely soft cotton really soft and it, i think it hangs really nice i've got this in a size 20. it's a nice length and it's nice and roomy i think it's a bit longer on the back isn't it than on the front or is it the same yeah it's slightly longer on the back this is 32 pound 50. I think it's just really nice. For reference, I'm five foot eight. I'm about size 20 on the top and on the bottoms, because I'm an upper shape of this large tummy, if it's something elasticated, like these trousers elasticated, I've got these in a size 16. Otherwise, if I go any bigger, they tend to be too big on my hips. So I picked up these trousers. So they're a linen trouser. And they do have pockets on the bottom. And I can't remember how much your trousers were, I'll pop them in the description below, but they're regular, so they're a 16 regular. And they're a nice linen, they're not see-through. They're not too see-through, so I think that's quite nice, they're quite a thick linen. Well, I quite like these trousers. You can't go wrong with a pair of linen trousers, can you, in the summer? They're really comfy, aren't they? And so they're high-waisted, they come nice and high on the waist, which is good. So that's outfit number one. I think I've got mostly, yes, yeah, it's, it's all trousers and um, blouses today. And I do have one skirt to show you as well. The white linen trousers were £25. I don't think they're too bad. Um, they are a really nice linen. And they do have the side pockets as well. And they are wide leg high rise so yeah i'm quite impressed with those i think they're really nice so i think they might be a keeper as we push um just booked another holiday we're going to greece with the family in august for two weeks uh, we're going back to santi and uh, we were looking online yesterday and there's some cheap flights for june so my husband and myself are going out for a week in june as well so that's something to look forward to, so I can start shopping for holiday clothes now. <coughs> the next bottoms are these white jeans. They're the white sienna jeans from Marks, and these are £22.50, which I think is quite reasonable. Again, they've got the side pockets, and they're quite a high rise. They do have the jean pockets, and they do have stretch as well, so there is stretch in these jeans, which is good. So I wouldn't get a rigid pair of 16s on. So I do like these. I've had the Sienna jeans before from them. And as I say, you've got that stretch. You know, they are really comfy, really nice. At £22.50, I think it's quite reasonable, isn't it? So that's the white jeans. I will link everything in the description box below for you to see. This next top, is from sea salt 
so it's in Cornwall. Um, again, I got off the Mark Spencer's website, and it was £32.50. But it's a beautiful print, lovely fabric. So it's a button down blouse, and it's stretchy as well. I do have stretch. And I got this in a size 20. And I think this is absolutely lovely. It's shorter. I mean, like with these, like the shorter top, I would put a pair of heels on or something, you know, a pair of wedges. Make my legs look a little bit longer. But I think this top is lovely. I really do like the print on this top. And the fit fits lovely on the shoulders. Yeah, so that's £32.50. The next item is this denim skirt. It's, it's like, it's something that I kind of would have worn sort of, you know, well, let me think. Probably in the 80s, when they were all the craze, and uh, I saw Tina from Tina's Talk try and try it on, and it looked absolutely amazing on her. She had it tucked in with the top, and I thought, oh, that looks really nice, I like that. This one, <laughs> I've got a 16, but it's not very stretchy, and it is too tight on my tummy, so I would need to size it up. But yeah, I'm not sure on me, but I really liked it on Tina from Tina's Talk Time, and I thought, oh yeah, let's try that. What do you think? Got the slit at the front there. And you've got pockets on the bottom. I said, you know, it isn't the stretching it, so it is too tight on my tummy, you know, unless I lost a little bit more weight. And I don't know if you've been following our 10 week challenge. Uh, there's four ladies because after Transatlantic Housewives, Housewives of YouTube and uh, we just set ourselves a 10 week challenge and uh, we've all lost some weight, we've been increasing our exercise and I've actually lost six pounds. Uh, I've been doing a similar diet so I'm actually amazed with that. Hopefully I'll lose some more. So um, yeah, so I say it's too tight at the moment, perhaps in a few weeks, you know, it'd be the right size but you can't risk buying something you're hoping to slim down into can you because a lot of time it just unfortunately doesn't happen so I'd have to size up yeah so I think I'd sit down and this is too tight but I thought I'd show you anyway so this is absolutely stunning on Tina she had it tucked in and uh, with, with the top and I, again I think tucked into this one and I really liked on her and I thought oh I must try that so I should have uh, got a size bigger I should have ordered an 18 yeah, so that's a skirt, and I think it's twenty nine fifty. I'll confirm that in a minute for you. But as I say, it's a rigid denim, and these are quite versatile, aren't they? You know, you can you know casual wear sort of thing. You can wear them anywhere, can't you? Dress them up, dress them down, pair of flats, and they're really nice. I do like this top. Yeah, I think this top's a keeper from Seesaw. Okay, on to the next item. The next item is a crop jean. I do like crop jeans in summer, I must admit. Again, we've got the pockets on the bottom and they're a nice, they're stretchy denim. So they come nice and high. These are 29.50. And I think they're cut off at the right point on me. You know, you can wear them a little wedge, make your legs look a little bit longer. But yeah, they're a nice colour denim. You've got the pockets on the front to that as well. Yeah, so as I say, if the stretch, you've got that bend, haven't you? The give. Yeah, so that's the crop jeans. I know they're not for everyone, but I do find them quite comfy in the summer, especially with a long top. I do like them. I find them quite versatile. This next item, it's a striped shirt and I actually sized up in this, this is a 22 because I had a pink and white one which is similar, not the same and it was quite snug in a 20 so I've sized that, I've got a 22 and this was £32.50 so it's got the shirt tails uh, obviously long sleeves button through it is a nice candy stripe 
I think it'd probably be quite nice and done. You could have like a little vest up underneath. I think it'd be quite nice and done, wouldn't it? So yeah, this is quite nice. Actually, there is some stretch in this as well. Yeah, there is some stretch in this fabric, so that's good. There's nothing worse than driving the car, isn't it? It stays all tight, but yeah, no, there's quite a lot of stretch in this fabric, so that's really good. Yeah, I think it's quite pleasant, isn't it? It's quite nice. Okay, so that's all the items from Martha Spencer's. I am very quickly going to show you some roses that I received. Give me a second. Yes, so I have shown these before on here. Um, the company Rose Forever asked if I would show you them again because obviously Mother's Day is coming up in America and I do have a lot of American viewers. So they've been really good to me. They sent me two lots of roses this year so I'm happy to give them a shout out again. Uh, so the ones I received this time are these beautiful lilac roses and they're absolutely gorgeous. So if I take the lid off, You can see it's got Rose Forever engraved on the lid. And how beautiful are they? They are so gorgeous, aren't they? And they're absolutely perfect. I went for the jewellery box, and I call it jewellery box, but you use it for anything um, this time. As you can see, I've got a few jewellery items in there. There's a nice little drawer here. these are absolutely stunning and they're all vegan friendly so many different colors so many different shapes as so this is a jewelry box the first ones i received for valentine's day were these beautiful pink roses in this black velvet box it does have a lid there is a lid as well there's a lid here and so, as you can see, they've kept absolutely lovely. You don't have to do anything to them either. You just dust them off. I haven't even had to do that. But yeah, you just give them a little dust with a soft paintbrush if they get dusty. But they are so gorgeous. I said, that's why I'm happy to give them a shout out again because they've sent me two lots. So they're based in New York. And I will put the website down below. As I say, I do have a discount code for you, which is Crocker25. It gives you $25 off your purchase. So, yeah, what a lovely Mother's Day present. I think they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? So, yeah, thank you very much to Rose Forever for sending me those. <coughs> and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. So, it's Bank Holiday weekend. We've got the extra day. We've got um, tomorrow, aren't we, Monday? Today is Sunday, so I'm hoping to put this video up live later on today. Um, normally it would have gone up at 7 o'clock this morning, but uh, I didn't have time to video it yesterday with the carnation. That I thought, oh, I'm going to have a day off. So uh, then I was awake early this morning in bed, and I thought, oh, I'll get up and video my Mott's and Spencer's haul and put it live today for you. Otherwise, it would have gone up live tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I hope the weather improves. We're hoping to go somewhere with the family today. So, say we were in the house already all day yesterday. We watched the carnation at home on TV, and then um, we went down to my son's later in the afternoon. Um, his wife and little tea party. So we had some sandwiches and cake down there, which was really nice. And then we come back and watch TV. Um, Leo's at his dad, so Becky comes stay with us for the weekend. Uh, she's in bed at the moment, says so my husband. What's the time now? It's seven o'clock, so I am up super early. I don't know about you guys, but I can't lie in on the weekend. There is a work day, I can stay there all day. I don't want to get out of bed, but on the weekend, I'm awake early. So I've had a cup of coffee in bed and I thought, oh, I'll come and do this haul for you now. Get that done and hopefully get it uploaded today so you can see it. And um, we watched, because Becky came over Friday night and she's staying till tomorrow. Leo comes back from his dad's tomorrow. So she very often does that on the weekend, which is nice if she hasn't got Leo every other weekend. And yeah, we love to have her. And uh, we normally watch a film or something. And we watched, it was on Netflix. It, um, it was like a spin-off from Bridgerton. I can't remember 
Oh, wait a second. Yes, yeah, so it's a Bridgerton story about Queen Charlotte, and there's only six episodes, and I must admit, I really enjoyed it. So we, we watched three on Friday night, and we finished the last three off yesterday. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. So if you're looking for something different to watch, yeah, perhaps it might be something you like. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Bye.